Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marauder X. We're back with more Let's Play Trials of Mana. All right, so let's. I'm pretty sure I didn't save off screen because I was paying attention. So there we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, that 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 works. All right. So now let's go finish talking to the other two people that we need to talk to. Oh wait, one is actually in there. Haha. -ha. Where are you? You. You're a shopkeeper. Heading to Laurent. I highly recommend stopping by the night market in Bessier. Okay. There are many things for sale that may help you on your travels. Some rare items sold at the night market you can't buy anywhere else. Might as well take a look. Alright. That's... Good to know, actually. The night market will have uh, some interesting items available. Okay. Uh, are we done waiting? No, there's still one more person on this side of the thing. All right, you. I saw some sort of cannon in the courtyard in the castle. I wonder what it's for. Find Vonjour. I also love how it's... Von Voyage instead of Bon Voyage and Von Jour. Like. Like, it would be. It, it, von Voyage is like. Flipping the, the first letter of each word onto the other. But. Von Jour. It's not, and it's messing with my head. <laughs> like, I have an expectation, and it's not being met. All right, launch us out of a cannon, my little friend. All right, hop in, I'll send you back to my brother's place in Maya. Okay, so we're, we're headed back to Maya. And actually, I think I needed to be, I needed to go back to Stone Split. Because I needed to be on this side of the stone split gap in order to find the next uh, little cactus. Huh. That'll be fun to deal with. Especially since I, I... Well, I haven't been that way in a while. So I don't know. It seems, it seems out of the way. But also, it seems like it's something that I'm supposed to do when I'm on that side, because I need to be on that side of the world. But, I don't know. Alright, well, we'll head to Besser, and we'll go from there. Like, I'm, I'm, eh. I'm kind of indifferent on it right now. Because it's, it's one that can be dealt with easily, I think. I just don't know when the next time I'm actually going to be going to Stone Split is going to be if I don't do it now. But we'll, we'll yeah, we'll go. Uh, let me bring up the list while I'm thinking about it and see past that what is the next thing. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I, I should have gotten... I should be up to six now, because there is another little cactus. Alright, so, uh, screw that. We're gonna go back and get both of those little cactuses. Because I need to go back to Stone Split Gap, and then... in Valsena, and then there's one in Besser. So, yeah, I, if I'm going in order, I'm, I'm missing two. So let's go ahead and go back and deal with those. Because I want to get those in order so that I don't have to worry about backtracking so much and being like, okay, where are these last two little cactuses? Plus, the I, the, the bonuses you get from them are actually quite useful. Uh, they are fantastic in, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, they are, will break the game. So... 
Oh, do I have to I, do I have to talk to him to go back or can I not go back unless I load the game? If I have to do that, I'm gonna be kinda pissed off. Send me back. Uh oh well hey. Will the fight. Okay, well that's that's useful. I'll remember that. Well what we'll do is we'll go ahead and load this while we're still in Valsana. So, and then we'll go get that stuff. And then I'll remember to talk to Von Voyage when we're back and get that chain ability. So, hey. Thank you, game, for letting me load a save. <laughs> Without actually having to reset. Like, that's one thing that I'm, I do not miss about technology. Oh, well, you screwed up. Well, I've got to reload the save. I have to get up, reset the system, reload manually. I really don't want to do that. Alright, so we're here. Let's leave town. Because we need to go back to Stone Split Gap. And we're going to go back to Stone Split Gap. Where... If you get hit hard during a battle, you can select recovery items that will partially recover or fully recover. Oh, hey! That's useful. I've seen that on the, the item menu, um, but out of battle. I didn't know you could do that in battle as well. Alright. You guys are going to be a pain, aren't you? So, I'm just going to do this. and take you out as quickly as possible. And then we, I believe it's we need to go this way to stone. Yeah, I think it's this way to stone split. No. That's Mulbear Moor. How do I get back to stone split? I don't think I can. Hmm. Yeah, I think I needed to do that right after the dwarves. Unless I can go this way. We'll go we'll go back that way. And because that's the way we went the first time in the game. Alright, I'm just gonna skip all of this. Cause I'm I'm looking to get through this relatively quickly. Yeah, I've, I remember going across this bridge. Just leave me be, rabbits. Alright, you're dead. That's fine. We'll run. Yeah, I've, I've... Okay, I remember coming this way to get... This little cactus. But this isn't the way we wanted to go. And you're gonna attack me. So, I'm just going to run and go in here, and we're going to go into this cave. I think if we run down the cave, we'll be fine. Because this is... This is the way we went. So, yeah, I think if we just run through the... Yeah, stone split gap. Okay. This is where we want to be. We just need to go over to where the bridge is or was, because it is now not here. And there he is! There he is. Hello, little cactus! And that's the fifth time, so we get we get a prize! Check how many undiscovered treasure boxes are left. View from the map menu. So, now that we if we go to the map It'll tell you, treasure boxes, two of three. So we have found two of three in Stone Split Gap. So that is actually really helpful to know. Because then you're like, okay, have I gotten all of the treasures here? And again, I'm probably not going to be going for all of the treasures. Because there's, there's just going to be a lot of them about. Uh, but I... I Definitely want to go for all of the 
the the little cactus. All right, so now we're gonna be- head back to Valsena because there he has shown up in Valsena as well. Um, after it, he only shows up after uh, you you beat the Altenish forces back. So let's head back there. All right. I don't like the run button being attached to the, uh, it's attached to one of the, the analog sticks. It's L3, or in this case, I don't know what Nintendo labels them as. So, like, yeah, it's, it's, you have to press the analog stick, but you have to press it while it's in motion, otherwise it doesn't work. And that is a really awkward uh, series of movements. Oh no, I, I want you. Yeah. Yeah, you die. And you die. There we go. Dead. And hey, Durin leveled up. So that was, that was well worth the little excursion. And hey, I missed that fight, so it's wonderful. All right, so now we go back into the courtyard, and there is going to be another another little friend. And then we'll go ahead and talk to people, do the cannon, yada yada yada, and therefore we we can continue. Even that means like half of the sep not not half of the episode. But, like, probably a quarter of this episode was just me derping about going, Okay, let's do this. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Alright, let's talk to you so that we can get the info on the night market again. We can just skip that because we've already talked to you on camera. Alright. Now, Little Cactus is over here in the corner. Ha! See? He's next to the dog. Just hanging out. Hey, dog. Oh, are you growling at me, or are you growling at the little cactus? Okay, so the next price is get 10% discount at shops. Are you still gonna growl? Okay, yeah, so you're not, you're, it's, it's me that you're upset at. Okay. And so, like, if we want to look at the map, we've got four out of four treasure chests for Valsena. So... Yeah, we saw a cannon. We we know. We know. We're gonna skip ahead to all this and just get back to town and then get the chain ability and then we'll actually make progress. And then we've got uh there'll be one in the the merchant town of Besser. So that's where we're gonna go next. So That'll bring us up to seven total. Which is okay. I'm okay with that. That's... Alright. You... Just skip this. Yeah, just... Just just launch us. We're fine. Oh, I can't skip it. <laughs> oh, I can. Press X to hold and skip. Just, just take me to where I need to go. That's all that matters. No one cares about anything else. Okay. I'll talk to Von Boyage, get, get that chain ability. Yeah, we all land less than gracefully. How we don't die on impact is a question. Alright, let's talk to Von Voyage, get that, because that's a power attack. Yeah. Power attack damage increased by 5%. I wish we could equip more abilities. We only, I mean, looking at each character, 
like, you can only get six total. And the number of abilities that you can learn, like, it, it, it seems very, very odd to me. I don't know why. All right. So let's go. We need to talk to someone over here. Oh, no, we don't. Where are we going? Oh, yeah, we, we just got to head to the city. That one place that I couldn't go to before is now open. We've just got to go there. I thought we had to take a boat. But no, that's... That is not where we actually have to go to. It's the merchant town that we couldn't get into before. That one guy was like, you could be a spy. I was like, yes, we could be a spy because the princess is with us. And that's... That makes total sense. That we could be spies. All right, do you say anything? All right, yeah, you don't say anything new. I'm like, dude, I've found that little cactus like seven times. And... And, oh, you almost got me. And then you died. You, you thought you were going to get me. And then you died. Oh, I can't do anything because I don't have enough special gauge. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll hit both of these. That. There we go. Dead. And Charlotte leveled up. And Angela will level up shortly, so that's good. So I guess I'll just... I'll kill everything in my way. Except I will... Attack myself into a... Uh, an attack. There we go. You, you die. You all die. Just, just go away. And since we've already been through this way like a dozen times, I can just run through. I love watching my allies like pop up back behind me because I get too far away from them. I'm going to take this opportunity to build up my special gauge on everyone. Hey, Angela leveled up. I still haven't actually, you know, taken advantage of using my, my training points. Alright, you thought you were going to get me, and then you didn't. Also, what was fun is, in the original game, uh, flying enemies, it didn't matter. They didn't technically exist in the same way, because it was a 2D game. So they did fly, but it was a very different form of flight. <laughs> um, just out of curiosity, did I check around these trees? Yes, I did. Like, I could have swore I did, but... Oh, well, you... You just had to... To, you know, decide to attack me. And now you regret it. Hey, how did, uh... How did I get that if it took damage? Because I got the, the, the no damage marker. So, I don't know. But, you know, it's... Anyway, let's just keep keep going. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to analyze, like, maybe it doesn't count if I'm not the one who takes damage, but I'm pretty sure if one of my allies takes damage, it counts. Like, if any one of my people take damage, that's a, that's a thing. But, I don't know. Right, we're at the merchant town of Beiser. Beiser? Budweiser. Merchant town of Budweiser. Alright, so there's there's some stuff for us to do. There are going to be some items to look around for. There is a little cactus sighting here, so we're going to find that. Um, he is over here next to the armor shop. There's an item there, but he... Okay, I thought he was there, but no. 
and apparently it's nighttime, which is good because that is when the night market opens. Alright, there's an item down there. Alright, where are you? There you are! Little buddy. Found a little cactus. So there we go. Find you three more times for a prize. Alright, let's look around and get items. And then I guess I could go to the night market as well, because it is nighttime. Alright, I can't jump over there. That's obnoxious. Dog is guarding an item. Ooh, a piece of candy. I, I, I'm sorry, I did tell everyone that I was going to be making that joke a lot. And, you know, it is... It is a thing. Alright, uh, this is the night market. So we can go in. It is, as the, the name suggests, only open at night. So... But... There's a lot of stuff. Like, we can come talk to you. So he's got a lot of items for sale. We can get Poto Oils, which are elixirs. Or not, uh... Basically, uh... Not... Well, crap. Because I'm sitting going, elixir is HP and MP. Mega Elixir is HP and MP for the full party. But this is just HP for the entire party. It recovers all party members, ally, or all party members HP to full. So, like, that's... Those are actually really worthwhile. Uh, bumpkins are projectiles. Mar... Marmapoto oil is, uh, area effect, uh, detox, basically. Or Asuna. Alright, so I think he's the only one that we can buy actual items from. I think everyone else is just kind of here. Oh no. Okay, yeah, I forgot. This guy sells magic stuff. So, Earth Coin deals area of effect Earth magic. Uh, scale is defense. Uh, claws are going to be the equivalent of saber spells. So, they will in infuse someone's weapon with an element. So, you've got Mole Bear, which is Earth, Siren, which is Wind, Poseidon, which is Water, etc. Uh, Storm Coin is so, you've got coins, scales, and claws. So, area of effect, attack, uh, saber spell, and defense. So, like, boosts allies' magic attack and defense. Boosts allies' attack. And then eyes are also kind of creepy, because those are going to do things to enemies. Uh, either, like, dispel effects, or cause status effects, or some of them just do weird damage or drain HP and MP from the enemy to you. Uh, those will get real weird as as the game progresses. Um, and naturally, we can't actually do what we need to do in the night market yet. It's like, we need to talk to Billy over here first, but there's more items to get. I just wanted to show that off before I wasted all my time and it ended up being daylight again. Because we've got a bunch of stuff to go over and get, so. Uh, da -da -da -da, not there. And there's something back behind here, I think. Yep. Yes, there is. Cup of wishes. And, like, if you're curious, I found five, of tre five treasure chests. So anything else that would be in the town are going to be these things. So it's one of those things that'll be like, okay, yeah. I don't know if we ever find any, like if one of the the things from Little Cactus is figuring out those, but. All right, let's check the, 
Oh, you're just a house. I thought you were the weapon on Armstrong. Weapon on Armstrong are down here. Hi, Pupper. Is there anything we need to get weapon and armor-wise while I'm here? Do you have any upgrades? Broadsword, twisted rod, and light foil. So we, we got the broadsword out of a chest. So thankfully, I only have to upgrade two weapons. So that's actually somewhat helpful. I guess I could sell the old weapons. Because they're really not useful other than, you know, keeping the the view model, but because they don't have any attributes, and that's one thing that I really kind of wish they did in this game, was make some of the older equipment a little more viable for reasons. Like, they, they've already gone through and changed some things around, so you might as well give, you know, some use to things. But as it is now, it keeps the, the the original progression of once you get this item, the previous item is really superfluous. There's no point in keeping it around. It won't do anything. The accessories, the rings, are really the only things that are worth kind of keeping. Um, and we can get Lamellar Armor, Bee Gown, and Popoy's Gown. So, armor all around for them, which, you know, means I'm I'm a little low on funds, because, but I, I've got a little bit of it back, so, yeah, we had 7,000, we're at almost 6,000, I can sell some of my gear as well. Like, hey, Slime Eye decreases enemy's attack, Batmo Eye, magic attack, defense, dispels enemy effects. So I've got a bunch of these things that I'm not using. Assassin Eye deals wood magic damage, poisoning, and absorbing MP. Um, I can sell those. I'm not going to use those. I'm not going to use those either. And I've got some seeds, so I'll keep those. All right, so yeah, I'll go ahead and end this episode here because we have basically completed everything we can do in town for now, aside from just moving on. So yeah, I will see you all in the next installment. So till then, later, everyone.